press the record button because Space Cadet, hello. Okay, there we go. Now we're doing fine. There we go. Bullet um, Blast Me also has a little bit of shielding, cancels out enemy bullets, so that's always useful. I'll continue on. So I got all of my... I should have all of the physical hardware now to uh, record properly my consoles at this point. Record and stream them. Though the likelihood that this computer will be able to take it is so astronomically low <laughs> that it will probably be a while before I get to that. But there will be a day where I'm able to stream Kirby's Adventure and The Legend of Zelda and all those fun titles off my NES Classic. I didn't actually realize that Blasphemy has a reload animation. That's... Dodgems. I didn't realize that Blasphemy has penetration as well. Well, that was close. So also, the bullet has a passive ability, if I just check the Amanomicon to show you this. The bullet's passive item means that you don't have take contact damage, which means if you um, deal extra damage on contact through dodge rolling, that's great. Um, and it means if something just runs into you, you don't take damage to it, so that's always great. Little minute things that really can be exploited when you know how to use all the items in this game. Yeah, I know. There's a game I would say the title of, but it's banned on Steam, on Twitch, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And why did I do that? Wasting keys. Keys have no purpose anyway. That's fine. This has been a really good floor thus far. Blast me is really strong, so... At least it's strong we have full HP, so hopefully we can master around the boss. And we have a backup half heart in the vending machine, so just gonna go in and slash that guy a couple times. There we go. Blasphemy's accuracy isn't the greatest at long distance, but it's really good close up. Ooh, a shield, thank you. I will take that. So another thing to note is that the robot um, because he doesn't have hearts, he only has um, only has shields. It n considers that his HP is never full, and so if you get blasphemy on a randomizer run with the robot, uh, you can never shoot swords with that because he never has full HP, which is sad. Now, where's the key in this room? There's the key. Okay, let's check out the shop. See what's up. Uh, nothing much, obviously, because it's a rainbow run, and then we'll go and attack the boss. Okay, Trigger Twins with Blasphemy are is going to be a pain in the ass to defeat, but we should be able to manage it. Combined power of shielding and dodge rolling. Whew, that was close. Take it down. Smiley a bit. I'm thinking of blanking in a moment. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so you can't just hold down the button to continuously use Blasphemy because it's a sword. Obviously, with a sword, you can't just hold it down and god damn it. Go automatic with a sword. That would be funny if you could, but no. Thank goodness for that shield, otherwise we would not be able to shoot our sword anymore, and this would be a very, very hard fight. Uh, 
Okay, that's one of them. Get rid of you. Start attacking you. This is a- it's a very different way of fighting with the sword rather than the a regular gun, because I have to click over and over again. Whew! Not a master round, but still very good for a first boss. Okay. Great. Easy clap. Okay. Nothing in the shop that we want. Uh, I'll just head on to the next floor. Yeah, we don't need anything for the vending machine. We're good. We are very good. I'm very happy to see, I'm just looking at my stream uh, preview on my other monitor, and I'm very happy to see that the chat on the stream is perfectly the exact same width on either side, from the edge of the screen and the edge of the stream itself, so it's like, it's perfect. <laughs> okay, got some more really nice items here. What do I want to take? I want something that actually has some oomph to it, so I'm probably going to take the Void Core Assault Rifle. Yeah. Okay. I consider Blast Me as like a step down from Casey in a lot of ways, so it's the same kind of playstyle. How do I- how much do I want to risk it and get in close with Blasphemy. Because Blasphemy has the same kind of thing as cancelling bullets, but it doesn't reflect them back like Casey does. So. Okay, next room. Let's see if we can get you. Gotcha. Okay. Because it's a melee weapon, I'm always like, okay, how do I get you from over there? And then I realize, oh yeah, I can shoot magic bullets! <laughs> okay, next room. And we've got lots and lots of regular bulletkin in this room. Also a blobby lawn, so I'll just be careful of you. Though, Blasphemy's sweep does help in the AoE attack. Great, okay. So another thing I did this week that I'd probably touch on in the next episode of Pokemon Prism, when I record that in a couple days, is I downloaded um, the software called Famitracker, which is a software that allows you to create um, chiptune music that uses like the same kind of style. I suppose it emulates the sound chip of the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Famicom and the uh, Famicom Disk System. So um, I have a mild interest in chiptune because I listen to a lot of chiptune covers <laughs> in my spare time. Um, when I'm doing things, so. Just something I want to just, like, try out and see how... What's the skill level required to do that? And I'm blanking that, even though I probably didn't need to, but... I don't want to take the risk of losing my sword. Thank you. Holy crap, that was a 20 roll. I'm on fire, on fire, on fire, ow, ow, okay. Whew, that was close. Okay. Can this... D20. Bugger off, please. Thank you. Okay, more hearts. Always great. That's our... No, we didn't get the hearts at the size, but that was on the failed start. And we have a mini-boss. Void Core. I'm not fighting a Gunim without... with just a sword, thank you. Come on. Oh, there goes our sword until we can find the shop. So you can't damage him while he's moving around the room, only while he's in one spot. I'm gonna empty my rifle here. So there we go. We don't get any chests from that. Oh, we get 100 credits, though. Nice. 75, or I don't know how many. There we go. And shop is off this room, which is excellent. So we're able to get our sword back. 
and let's take the one. There we go. Sword returned. I've got another sniper in the corner. Can't catch bullets with this, so or reflect them. There we go. I need to see how much damage Casey do, uh, blast me does at point blank with like the sword itself, and not with the. There goes our sword again. Veteran boy over there. Ow. Okay, yeah, our sword is gone now. <laughs> our sword is very gone now. That is not good. Okay. What do we want to do? We can go back to the shop and get what HP we have. Those shields won't help us. We do need to find some pickups somewhere of some more HP. Or break some chests and get lucky. Crap, this room is hard. This room is very hard. The lag from all the sprites on screen is killing me. <laughs> How many bullets do we have left? We're at half mag here, okay. One of them. It's two of them. Dang it. Three. Okay. That room was a disaster. Lost another two HP. There's the boss. Like we have the capacity to fight him right now. We have a key back here, that's of no use. Hmm. What's in this room? Another one of you D20 boys. Oh god, it's a D- it's- Stop getting good RNG. Why is he now just permagold? There we go. Okay. That's painful. That's very painful. Yeah. Say goodbye to the sword until floor three at the earliest. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. This is like, what's the probability of me getting more HP before X point in the game? Even though my luck hasn't been great this run, I am still definitely enjoying it, because I haven't played the bullet before, so... There we go. Keep just instinctively reloading, even though I don't have to. There we go. Is this a chest room? The next room is. Two slashes to get them on this. Okay. If I can get close enough to hit them. Oh, come on. See, if I didn't have just one other weapon and I hadn't picked up a passive on the first floor, I would use my actual firearm that I've got. But I can't really because I picked up a passive on the first floor. Which is something you should never do unless it's clone, basically. And no HP. So it spawned an actual item. Fun. Okay. If it's... Uh, what bosses are on floor 2? If it's the gore gun, I can probably... I almost walked right off the edge there. If it's the gore gun, I can beat the gore gun with the remaining HP that I have. If it's the beholster... Uh, there's probably a 60%, maybe 50% chance that I can beat the Beholster with what HP I have remaining. And if it's the Amaconda, there is a 0% chance of me winning, and I will probably just reset the run instantly. That was what I was waiting for. There we go.
four and one. Nice. It's like a Lego set, but better. Can you give me an HP, please? No, I got a junk. Fine. Fine. Okay, can we buy a shield? Yeah, we can buy all the shields. They won't help me with my sword, but... They'll do something in terms of keeping me alive longer. Beholster? Okay, we'll probably run out of ammo and die, but that's fine. I've already lost 60 bullets. I've got no blanks. I don't like burst fire weapons because then I'm forced to use three bullets at a time. It's fine. Winning is more important than keeping all of our HP at this point. And we're out of bullets. And we're done. This is there this is a no-win situation now. Aw oh, dang it. Okay. I'm just gonna taunt him for the next two minutes. I don't actually take contact damage, so I can stand as close as I want, but... If we win using just this annoyingly simple sword, I would be so incredibly amazed the DPS cap on the boss is probably the only reason it wouldn't ever happen, so... Yeah, there we go. Walked into that one. Rip. Okay. Was a 20-minute run. We can do a few more of those if we have to. Start right back over. Okay. Yes, F in the chat. Okay. We'll try that again. Oh man, the game heard how annoyed I was the first time around, it just gave me a ton of good stuff on the first floor. Oh boy, what do I want to take though? Okay, M4, Super Mate Boy. Does that one bounce? If that one bounces, I'm taking that. It's this, between the strafe gun and that. Okay, let me just check the wiki on my phone. Uh, let's see. The Super... Super meat gun. Let's read it. It's an A tier. They are. They do bounce. Okay, I'm taking that. I've had the strafe gun before. It's it's okay, but I would like to take the super meat gun. Did it just up my movement speed as well? I think it did. Huh. Have to read the description for it. I own Super Meat Boy, I have it on the Epic Games launcher, but I just haven't had time to play it yet. It was a free promotion from Ed over a year ago, probably. Can we fire... Why do we not have full HP? Oh. Okay, so it gave me an extra heart container, but it didn't fill it. Okay, I see. So that's why I can't shoot bullets already. Interesting, okay. Yeah, no contact damage. That's what we bounced off of him. Gun nut, chain gun nut. Can I slash his chain? So I won't take contact damage to him, but I will take contact damage to his chain when he's holding it, so. Okay. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Room done. Oh boy, fun. I think I just adjusted the aperture of the screen. I don't know what just happened. Hopefully I didn't. That would be annoying if I did. I'm not seeing any screen tearing, so I don't think I did. But it looked like my mouse grabbed the edge of the screen on my monitor, so it was like, oh, please don't screw things up midstream. Thank you. 
did manage to get a hit on him before he teleported. Good. I was... About a week ago, I was contemplating, how do I make my commentary more interesting and just more engaging while I'm playing Gungeon? And it's like, well, I'm so good at commentating Pokemon, because I do that so much. Um, I do that even when I'm not recording it. Um, just apply the kind of talk that I do while I'm talking about what's going on in a Pokemon match to Gungeon, which isn't that hard to do because there's a lot of random stuff happening all the time. So it's just a dungeon crawler versus an RPG. So that was an owl. Did not mean to walk into that. Okay. Uh, can we hit you? Thank you. And you. And you. Nope. Can't get close enough. Surprise. <laughs> no HP yet, but that's fine. Did not mean to open that. I keep doing that. That's annoying. Okay, another door. Couple bulletkin, that's fine. Their firing speed is so slow I can just walk right up to them and go whack. Chain nut in this room, there we go, here he is. How many hits does he take? I've hit him six times, come on. Seven, okay, apparently it's, however I think it should be, plus one. Most other things are two hits, on this floor at least. Except for you, you're one, lol. Okay. Sheen pistol boys. Need to check my aspect ratio. Like, is that screen tearing? I'm just paranoid that there's something wrong all the time. That's what being a programmer and a perfectionist does to you. Perfectionism alone is a problem that someone should never be a perfectionist because it's just so mentally problematic. That was not 16 by 9. I did pull it slightly. Did that screw up my stream? It looks fine. Does this still look and sound fine on the viewer end? Please let me know. Boss door. Yes, okay, good. Okay. One shot it. And that's that. Oh, there's a few more things. Cancel that bullet midair. Comboed. Cool. Okay, another chest room. Can we get a heart, please? No. That's annoying. Okay. This is a loop around to get to the shop, but we'll take it. How long have I been live for? I shouldn't be looking at my other monitor while I'm in the middle of a, a firefight. How long have we been live for? 30 minutes. Okay. This is going very well. Keep it going. if I took damage to the explosion or to the gun knight boy here. Okay, shop it's back over here. A water barrel can go no, I don't want you around, thank you. Hearts, we can pick up one. We don't have any spares, which is annoying. I will use the super meat gun 
on the Trick or Twins. He just looks and sounds so super meat boy. And at this point in the game, I've already taken damage on this fight, which is annoying. Uh, at this point in the game, you just need to know if it can hurt you, it's outlined in red. Otherwise, you're fine. Because there's more of my bullets on the screen than there are of their bullets at this point. This is insane. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, though. <laughs> That's most games in a nutshell, and I'm gonna lose. Because this is so insane, I can't see what I'm doing. If I lose this, I'm gonna be very annoyed. The DPS cap is the only thing that prevented that fight from ending in half that amount of time. Okay. I'm surprised it didn't lag that much doing that either. Okay. Shop. We're one one away from buying that. That is very annoying. Okay. And we didn't even use half the ammo in it. So likely unless we find a fountain or we get a hundred we get a gold shell or something that's like super rare that gives us all of our HP back. Uh we will be stuck without our sword for a while. Our magic sword. Oh, the Gungeon. Oh, Clone or the Gungeon? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that's annoying. Oh boy. See, the Gungeon is my favorite full auto. Or Clone. I have to do Clone because then I get all my HP back <laughs> if I die, so obviously. Best, second best passive. Third best passive in the game. Number one best passive is Lich's Eye Bullets. Number two is the Seven Leaf Clover. I've said this already. And number three is Clone. Clone's only good if you know how to use it. And Seven Leaf Clover isn't that great unless... is only good when you're playing a regular run. If you're playing Rainbow Mode, it's not that great at all. But Lich's Eye Bullets are always amazing. No matter what you're using. This is painful. Make it end, please. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna die right here, then. Stupid sniper. It's cubes. And clone. That's annoying. It was only on floor two. I could have capitalized on that a lot more, but oh well. Uh, we get more weapons. Oh, railgun. Railgun to the prototype railgun. <laughs> oh man. Regular. Okay. Sword with full HP. We get our lasers back. Yay. Yeah, I've said this as well. Prototype railgun or regular one because of the bouncy bullets on the regular one. Uh, the high damage because of boss DPS caps is not worth it to take the prototype. Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. This could be a winning run. If we don't take damage immediately. Insert open mouth, insert foot. Can't make I cannot maneuver. Okay. Concentrating. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just concentrating. That was almost disastrous. One of them. And there we go. Done. Like 
sound and lack of laser sword noises. Okay, three blanks is very nice. It is very nice. So we basically just reset the run with our same weapons, except we added the railgun, because we're at the exact same HP value we were at before. Maybe with the railgun we'll have a chance of master rounding the boss. How many times have we hit him? Like five? There we go. Don't explode, please. Junk? Okay. That's better than nothing. Not useful to us as the bullet, but I'll take it. It's a little known fact that junk, when you're the robot, gives you a 5% damage boost for every junk you have. Okay. That was close. Is there a chandelier there? No, there's a chandelier here. I can't shoot it because I don't have a ranged weapon. Lovely. I'm tempted to use the super meat gun, but I don't have enough bullets in it. That was very close. Okay. I'll use the railgun. One shot won't hurt. There we go. See how nicely that cleans things up? Those bouncy shots, though. Can we just find the way out? Isn't that the title of the game? I don't know. A way out. I have to look at that. I can't remember which one that is. I'm pretty sure I know which game that is, though. So. I can't remember if that's the co op multiplayer prison one, the undercover guy, and all that stuff. Uh, if you know gaming, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, okay. So we have all. for If we get another nine. Sh uh, casings, we can get that to full HP, which would be awesome. Spam reload. That was... How did we not get hit? Okay. Glass goo on stone, I will take. Thank you. Okay, next room. Guys sitting inside of the table. That's a new one. Spam reload. Because it looks cool. <laughs> and there we go. Lol. Explosion radius. That was properly timed. You can really kite the gun nuts around in circles, yes, that's what they're called. And then they'll just comp shoot in the completely wrong direction. Learning to play bullet is definitely something I want to learn to do, because he's definitely still quite of a, a meta character, so... Another junk, annoyingly. Okay, are we at 50? Yes, we are. I'm gonna wait until after the boss to buy that HP in case we get some from the boss, so. We have enough HP that the 4 one boss won't be able to kill us, so. Charge the railgun. It's this boy. We should easily be able to kite in circles. Unless we just don't get obliterated by a missile or something. Already got him under half. Where is he? Blanket. Can I shoot, please? Let go of the trigger. Perfect master round noise. Easy clap. And that's what I was talking about of more HP. 
I only have to buy one, and I don't have to buy all of them. And I had more, actually, in the HP dispenser. That's annoying. Okay. Great. An unnecessary 20 credits spending there, but still on track. Got lots of HP. Is that five heart containers now? Yeah, okay, and one shield. Oh my god! All these good guns, but such slow firing rates. Ah. I could take the admit one because I don't have an active item. I could take the shock bullets because I electrify my saw blades, which would be amazing. Or I could take the hexagon, which is my favorite sniper rifle. But I have the railgun already, so I probably won't take the hexagon. I don't know how the shock rounds work with the saw. I want an active item though, so I will take the admit one. Okay. And I'm just going to take a two minute break, and I will be right back. Uh, BRB. Yes. Okay, we're back. Uh, hopefully everything still looks and sounds fine. I've got my laser sword back, so that's always nice. Almost lost my laser sword. Well, no, I wouldn't have because I have a shield, but can I shoot the barrel? Thank you. I don't know why our ticket hasn't charged. Oh no, we do have our tickets. There was just no enemies in the room. Are you kidding me with the 20 roll? Stop it. Stop being so good. Stop being so overpowered. Will the fire disappear, please? Thank you. God, this room is actual hell. I'm doing it. Friendly Gatling Gull, go. Just get rid of them, please. Thank you. Okay, what needs more shots? Super mate gun. Okay, that worked out. We only lost our shield. We still have our laser sword. Or sword lasers, more like. Spam reload. That was nearly a disaster. Making an R key emote will be a thing if I ever get there. <sighs> Curb your enthusiasm. Freaking exploding chests. Screwing me over. And more cube boys. And we don't have our sword anymore. Sad face. Because the sword also pulls me forwards whenever I use it, it is hard to... Are you kidding me? It is hard to hit these guys and not get sucked into the hole. And how did that get past my sword? Excuse me. 
Well, this has been a very disappointing room. How can I not hit you? Come on. Don't take contact damage, so we can just do that. There we go. Die. Okay. Room. It actually had a reload meter on at that time. Funny. Okay. A room over here. If we could get to the shop sooner than later, that would be nice. Got lots of credits to spend. I'm just gonna call them credits because it's easier than calling them casings. And I just walked into that. That was lovely. I should be. If they were selling two full hearts worth of HP, I would be able to buy it because I have enough credits to buy that. Credits sounds more professional than money. And it's easier to say than rounds. It makes more sense to a random person. Challenge mode. In return, she we shall hast from the 18 credits as thy part of the wager. Prevail, and I shall return it. I accept it. Okay. Challenge mode. Challenge mode. How did that miss? Where's the next guy? We just bounce that to him. No, it's not bouncing, okay. Oh, there we go, we got him. The fact that this is not bouncing off the walls right now is very disappointing. I'm glad I didn't use my... What's it called? Uh, super meat gun because that would have been so so bad okay we don't have anything else to use that on so I'll just fire one and then that's good okay and we get our 18 back cool no rewards though because of rainbow moat as usual okay I'm just gonna go in with the rail gun done. Add another full HP. Do I want to use... I'll take one curse. That's fine. Did we just annihilate the room? No, we didn't. There we go. Okay. And next room. I hate this. Don't blow me up, please. How did that miss? An HP. There we go. You don't sell anything because of the rainbow run mode. Let's keep going. And keep going. That was so close to being a disaster. Blamo. Of course, cube off screen that I could not hear over the sound of that saw blade. So then the shop is a loop around here, okay. Spam reload. And of course there's spikes in the floor that I can't see. Lovely. So the chances of us getting our HP back now are so astronomically low. I will be using my ticket on the boss. That's a guaranteed thing at this point. Okay. Yeah, there's one HP. Fun. Okay. Where's the boss door? The boss door is through here. Not the down that way, down this way. Cool. This is like the equivalent of pressing shift in Minecraft, or control, or whatever you bind crouch to these days. Railgun time. Ammo Conda.
Have we already taken damage? Yes, we have, and the sprite limit is going to absolutely murder me here. Call it the sprite limit because I played too many NES games. Almost got him. Where is he? Our friend boy was still wailing on him the whole time. Okay, now the lag is over. Get our HP. Okay. Nothing else to do here. That was greater success than I expected, so we'll continue on to the next room. Voice crack that I didn't need to have right there. Okay. Do to do. Do to do to do. And what's up here? Strafe gun is back again. Oh, so is the minigun. What or purple bullets? What do I want? What guns do I have? I have a bouncy bullets versus explodey bullets. What does Brock? Broccoli's an active. Is what is broccoli? I have to check what broccoli does. Only time you're ever gonna hear me say that in context. Okay, etg broccoli. And what does it do? Effect. It's a passive item. What does it do, though? Increases damage by 10, adds a 10% damage to negate damage, increases movement speed by 1. Our movement speed is already up because of the super meat gun. You take the strafe gun, which has a decent fire rate. It's burst, but it is alright. And I do want to have more things that have ammo. Um, hmm. I'm gonna take the broccoli because it is useful, and we've got I we've got our um, eagle boy, so we're fine. I say that casually, knowing I'll regret it later. This guy's boosted every enemy in the room. There we go. Can we get him? Can I get him, please? Thank you. Lack of contact damage helped there. also helped there, and it did not help there, but that's fine. Spam the sword. Spam the sword. Cancel everything. Cancel it all. When will this... Okay, there we go. Whew. There we go. More ammo for our railgun, thank you. Blazing through here. Got rid of that guy before it caused me problems. Oh my god, I negated that sniper round in the midair. How did I dodge that? Freaking Neo right now. Spam the sword again. It's gotta come over this way. Come on. I'm gonna use my railgun. And we took damage immediately. <laughs> did that clear the room? Other than this guy. Yes, it did. There we go. No, I don't want you to exist. You need to stop existing. Your very, ins e your very existence is an insult to this game. Bubble guys are so annoying. Okay, next room. Only reason that guy lived is because of there was a. He was underground and I rolled right into his bullets. Lovely. And I ro ran right into your bullets as well. Oh my god, can I kill him, please? Thank you. This room's literally gonna be the death of me. How many damage have we taken in this room? Like four? I don't know. I pretend to be good at this game. That is my main thing. Lack of contact damage does help. Can 
Can I kill him, please? Have I hit him once? Like, I don't even know. There we go. What needs a refilling? Let's take the railgun. Which I will use to wreck the next room. I think our ticket is restored now. Okay. Back down here. I'm just gonna go straight down. There we go. How about no? There we go. Nice. And absolute total destruction. Cool. There's more hearts, so we'll probably buy those. Thank you. If you could run into Patch and Cadence, not Patch and Cadence, God. Patches and Mendy. Confusing names today. If we run into Patches and Mendy and get all of our HP back, that would be the greatest thing in the world right now. Don't know if we hit him or not. There we go. Visual cues more than audio cues that I need. Oh, you son of a... There we go. That was easier than I expected it to be. Because it didn't just split into three, it was easy to kill. It didn't move. How do I want to deal with you? Let's fire. Just shoot you with saws. And we still take damage. God, is he unkillable? No. Please die. Stop it. Thank you. Don't want to spam it because it could be used for the boss and I don't want to run out of ammo. And of course we take damage to the last hitbox on the screen. Fun. It's like, I love this run, this is such a great run, and the game's like, oh, shame if something were to happen to it. <laughs> oh. Railgun. Concentration of enemies on screen. It's too great to resist. And I clicked off the screen. Ow, my ears. Okay, I'll pretend that didn't happen. And continue to the next... Hit by the last bullet on screen. Fired straight into the corner there. Cleared the room. Cleared one third of the room. Cleared the last two thirds of the room. And a neat gun that. And it's junk. Okay, that's fine. This room up here next, which has a door here that I can't even see on the map. It's a perfect angle. Keep hitting him over and over again. Like, why can't I move? Oh, there's a big rock in the way. Hmm. Spam the sword. Yes. Sword spam. Best spam. No HP. No shields. And nothing to save me from the boss. Railgun. If it's anything other than and then treadnought, I will be screwed, so. How did you live that? Poof. Okay. Where's the door? Wrong door. Maybe I'll I don't know. Haven't cleared the dungeon yet. Can we hit this thing 
with more than one saw at a time. Hey, that's what I want to see. Get some nice HP back. Okay. Let's loop. Wizard boy. Cthulhu. Split the three. I'm going to pull auto. There we go. Did that kill him? No, there's still one left. Naturally. Okay. Well, that HP we got got negated pretty quickly. Try not to die in this room. That's probably going to happen anyway. Oh, we get an HP back. Okay. The game is like, I want you to die, but I also kind of don't. I don't really know. <laughs> Make up your mind, game. Even if it means killing me. I appreciate someone who can make up their mind rather than be indecisive. Because being indecisive means you can't take action immediately, so. Though sometimes it means that you have a deeper level of thought than anyone else. It depends on the context. So. There's our boss door. And shops back here. Um. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Might as well buy some blanks. I got f five blanks. <laughs> Most blanks I've ever carried at once. Uh, Railgunner saw. Depends on what's in the room. And it's the Mind Flare, okay. He gave me the worst one. I'm just gonna blank everything. Boom. Oh, we hit him. Nice. Blank everything. If we win this, that would be the greatest thing, but I very much doubt it'll happen. The pillars are the only reason we've made it this far. Nope. Damn it. That's a spinny shot. We're safe behind the pillars because uh, we've got... Where is he? I don't even know where he is in the room. He's over there. Blank everything. Can you kill him, please? Oh my god, how did we win that? <laughs> Probably gonna send out the Gatling Gull and clean that up sooner, but damn, that was... Oh boy! That was anxiety-provoking. That's going on... that's going on YouTube. That is very much going on YouTube. GG. I know. Ooh boy. Only because I bought five blanks, we used three of them, so. That gave me the extra confidence boost. Okay, well if we can get anything that'll give us some extra HP on the beginning of the next floor, that would be the greatest. We got two full heart containers, which is more than we went into that with, so. Oh boy. The comeback could happen. You don't know- oh my god, they give me Casey. Oh, the magic bullets would have gone with our hexagon, but... See, Owl could be good because of the blanking. Casey's just a temptation that is... means I would never use Blasphemy again, and I mean I won't already, because... But Owl could blank for me, and that could be useful. I don't know. What weapons do I have? I always check this. Owl's a passive. I'm gonna go with the owl just for the safety. Any other circumstance, if I had one more heart container, I would go with Casey without a question. Oh, this room's already being a pain in the ass, okay. How have I not taken damage? Someone let me know. Forward it to customer service, please.
how did we clear that room? Our super saw gun is too good. Please don't nerf. <laughs> That's what Owl is good for. I think every run that I've played, every time I've streamed a Gungeon, I've picked up Owl at least once. Oh, this boy's annoying, I'm gonna just blast him out of the way. There we go. Did we get all of them? Yeah, we did. Wow, okay. Nice shot. Use this again. We're running out of ammo, that's our one problem right now. Did we kill? No, we didn't kill any of them. What did we get hit by? How are you still alive, man? Die, yeah. yeah. We're in trouble because of our ammo count, otherwise we're fine. Ooh, HP, thank you. And ammo! Look at that! What's our super meat gun? Yeah, I'll take more rounds for the railgun. We're at an hour and nine minutes, so likely when this run ends, we'll cut the stream. And so let's just shoot this once. And one more time. Okay. I'm not taking a chance with it exploding in my face again. So with the cube, I'm not taking any chances with blasphemy either. But now I will, because I'm... Incredibly stupid sometimes, and reckless. There we go, more ammo! Okay, the game has decided it wants me to live, it seems. Nothing in here. We've already cleared this room, I didn't even realize that. Uh, we'll go back down here. And we'll open this door. See where that leads. Are you gonna shoot me or not? Apparently not. Okay. Crap, that was close. There is no comfort past floor two in this game, like, at all. It is, you are always on the edge of your seat. Always, like, okay, if there is anything in this room, I have a very high chance of dying to it, or taking damage to it at least. It's the only game like that that I actually enjoy playing. That's one of those, like, high action games. Okay. Rather okay trap room. There's something in this room that's boosting that guy. Need to find it and kill it. Die, please. Please die before I get taken out by you. There you are. Sneaky guy. Okay. Good. Boost boy is gone. Bullet concentration in this room is way too high. Damn it. Um, how many rooms have I... Did not pause there. Okay, I'm gonna bring him out, because I'll very likely bring him back before the end of the floor. Unless we die first, of course. That could very well happen. I'm just gonna use the rail gun quite a bit now. So it's high damage and large bounce radius, even though I can't seem to hit this one target. I literally he's dodged it by a millimeter three times now. Yeah. Hey, a full heart, thank you. I needed that. Oh god, why am I stuck on the table? Dang it, he spawned. Did he spawn or... No, he disappeared. Okay, that was too close. Or did he spawn? No, he did spawn. He did spawn. Okay, there's a Skeletron. That is a problem. It's a very big problem. Blast him. A couple times. His laser eyes are superior to mine. Sometimes. Okay, now we have to go kill him. Point blank. Whew, more ammo. Thank you. 
Loving that ammo. Now, we haven't found the shop yet, otherwise I would go into that fight immediately. Less rooms I have to clear, the better. Did we just clear both of them? No. There we go. Oh boy, that was close. Ice cube. Why am I grabbing the screen? Okay. Okay. Concentration is real right now. Okay, more HP, yay. I'll take all of it. Thank you. I'll take your entire stock. This is our boy to get us to the secret floor. We don't need that, though. We are just going up. And, like, the first hit on the boss. High Priest. Okay, I can deal with that. Blanked it. Admit one. Go. Go. Kill him. Owl is already saving me. Multiple times. Okay. Can we not get hit by all these homing bullets, please? If we master round the High Priest... Did we just master round the High Priest? Oh my god. I have never master rounded the High Priest before. <laughs> oh man. That is nice. And we're nearly at full HP too. Damn, son. Whew. What are we at? Hour and 14. I reckon we can clear floor 5 in 15 minutes. Oh my. And we're doing so good for HP too. Six heart containers is not bad without a... I mean, we did have clone, but it was a clone from the second floor, so... Also, we are using Blasphemy, so getting master rounds is a bit harder. Oh boy. This is intense. Mm. Minigun- Gungeon's back. What do we have? I want the Gungeon. Because that could do good things for me. Yeah, let's do it. There's not really much else there to take, so... Gungeon will be good for the dragon. The quicker we can clear floors, rooms, on this floor, the better. Okay. That's pretty good. One door. This is... The slightest amount of movement is all you need to do. There we go. Excellent. And full HP. We got our laser sword. I'm probably not going to use the laser sword at all, because at this point it is such a mediocre weapon. Holy crap, this room could be the end of me. Hopefully not, though. Can't, whoa, my god, the number of bullets on screen. Of course, it's not from that many enemies, though. That's what you have to realize. Because you can't kill the hammers. There we go. Didn't get hit once. Ow. Okay, well, I lost my shield, but that's fine. How did you not take damage? What else is in the room? Where's the last enemy? Just gonna fire randomly. There we go, we got him. Okay. We're still at full HP. Locked link room. That's fine. Die, please. Die, please. Die, please. Thank you. Okay. Room dealt. It's a Reaper. That's fine. Just chaining railgun shots. Even on the smallest of enemies. It's like, yeah, no, I'm not taking any chances. Thank you. Okay. Another cube boy. Cube boy is gone.
Owl is saving our butt again. And here's Dragon. And we're at full HP. We have decent ammo. I'm just going straight for it. Okay, let's do this. Bring in our boy. Already almost got him down. This is like the fastest time to clear this floor I've ever done. Somehow we have not taken any damage yet, I have no idea how that's possible. Blanked. Oh my god. First phase, no hit. What the hell? How am I, t how am I doing this? Oh my god. The sprite limit though. Yeah, we got hit. Oh well. Not a no-hit dragon. I've never managed that before, but... Five. Okay, that's fine. We will not be bringing back our... Our eagle boy. Before... The next... Um, before we're done here. This is this a three cycle? It is a three cycle. Okay, that's fine. Plenty of ammo. Damn it. Got plenty of HP, too. Sometimes I don't realize how far I can jump. Which is why I sometimes mess up. This is it. Done. Woohoo! Nothing satisfying. Like... That was such a clean run after Floor 3. And we unlocked Blasphemy as just a starting weapon. That is awesome. And there's our obsidian shell casing. Now, I, do I have to go get the bullet? I haven't... Oh well, I have to go get the bullet. Oh boy, that's a problem. Okay, we have to go find the shop now. We've got plenty of ammo though still, so... Or kind of. I have never done that before. I think it was... Grab that back. Thank you. I will take my super meat gun. Oh boy, that was close. And there's our shop. Lovely. And I want a bullet. Thank you. Give me a bullet. There we go. One room. That's all it took. One room. Can we skip the lich? I might just save and then we'll fit do the lich out by myself and I'll end the stream here. Well, that was fantastic. And I jumped into the hole. That's fine. Okay. Can we avoid it, actually? Yes, we can. Hmm. How does that work? Because we saved on the Lich. As long as I don't quit the game, then I'm fine. Okay, time to do the bullets passed for the first time. On my second run. On my second run, as the bullet, I get to the bullets passed. Naturally, that's something I can do. I don't know why. Bullets pass is pretty hard, though, so I don't know if we'll make it or not. Oh, my younglets, only you can save us. I try to wield our ancestral weapon, but its design is alien to me. When I aim and fire, it just stabs me in the head. Even though it has lost much of its great power. It is said that it can reflect the magic of that dark wizard. I fear all is lost. Perhaps you can succeed <coughs> where I have missed. Aim true my... Yeah. Blasphemy. So it's just a wooden sword at this point. And yes, this is very, very much Zelda-inspired, so... 
and it does not do as much damage as normal Blasphemy does, so. The hardest part is going to be getting in and actually hitting either of those guys. It's so calm. It's like there's no boss music right now. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know why. This is poorly designed that I can't get in and hit either of these guys because they're timed so that they cover each other. Oh boy, that was close. No, this shouldn't be that hard. Okay. Oh, now he's going to shoot them at me. Fair enough. There we go. Now, where are we going? There's the door. So yeah, this is the throne room, basically, from A Link to the Past. So it's you, the bullet person. The spell is almost complete soon, my quick draw. <laughs> All bullet kin will be slaves to his grandeur, to be fired by his will. I have learned from your undead master, but I am not his kind. The usurper shall soon reign. Turn back now. Return to your pathetic chamber and rejoice in of your pathetic kind. Or do you think you can stop me? Go ahead on. It's a bit weird grammar there, but okay. So yes, the Shadow Wizard is Agunim from Zelda, basically. The mini-boss. So this is the full version of that boss from earlier that we saw. Can we reflect shots? No, we can't reflect shots. So he does, he's a lot slower than his Shadow Boy counterpart. I'm trying not to take any damage to him because I don't want to take any damage to something that's not the final boss. Oh my god, how did I not take damage there? Ah, damn it. Lost my shield. Damn it. Is that it done? No, I just countered him. Damn it. If I die to Agunim before I can get to the final boss, I'm gonna be so annoyed, but. Yes, a lot of things annoy me. I don't let them bother me though, it's just like, eh, that's a bit annoying, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. How much HP does this guy have, though? Seriously. Like a few hundred or something? I don't know. Whatever he does, he has, he's had got to have more success than I'm gonna have. Oh! Oh, that makes a lot more sense now. Maybe I'm not actually able to deal damage to him, and I've just been pointlessly taking damage this whole time. Okay, I get it now. It is Zelda. It's very Zelda. And I'm just gonna take damage every time he does that attack. Damn it, missed. Okay, this makes more sense now. So the next time I get here and I actually have a chance of winning, I will be able to win. Okay, shoot another one at me. Shoot one at me, come on. I want one. No! Yeah, three hits. Master! Bleh. And disappears, poof. Hole. Now, we will not get any HP back, I don't expect, so. There he is. And it's not Ganon. It's Cannon. That is literally his name. So, okay. There's a room off there. Interesting. Oh boy, okay, that's a hole on the floor. Damn it. Okay, well, it was a good first try, definitely, and I figured out how it works, but yeah. Okay, well that concludes today's stream.
game. That was a very good bullet run. My first bullet run that's been uh, anywhere near a success. In fact, my second bullet run in general. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoy this stream of Enter the Gungeon, and I will see you all next week for some more, where we hopefully uh, kill the bullets past and get another character completed on my save file. See you all then. Bye!